Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf All here today with another Pokemon TCG online video. And today I have for you guys a Golduck deck. And you're probably thinking, what? This is so random. And it is. It is indeed completely random. Uh, one day I decided to look through um, some of the cards that I own, and I was wondering, hmm, what's a what's a card from Boundaries Crossed that's a water type that can deal with Pyroar? And his free retreat. And I thought, well, uh, there's this guy, Golduck. <laughs> it's got the attack Amnesia. Uh, for a colorless energy, you can hit 20. And you choose one of the defending Pokemon's attack. That Pokemon can't use that attack during their next turn. So, uh, if you're facing against a Seismitoad EX, you can actually do um, Amnesia and then prevent them from using Quaking Punch. Uh, it also gives you Free Retreat, which is really good. We're weak to Lightning, but that's alright. So, so, the deck's going to be built around this guy. We are going to play Mew EX as a tech. And uh, we're going to use the Versatile ability uh, to copy uh, Golduck. Now, the problem with Amnesia here... Again, is that you choose a defending Pokemon's attack. Uh, if you're facing against another Mew EX, technically this isn't an attack. Uh, so you can make sure that they don't ever use Replace, but that's kind of useless. Uh, they never use use, uh, Replace, which <laughs> who really does? They always use Versatile. And so that's going to be one of the loopholes there. That doesn't really work too well with Gold Duck. Now, another thing we're going to be using here is going to be Dragalge's Poison Barrier ability. Your opponent's uh, Poison Pokemon can't retreat. And uh, that way, when we hit them with an Amnesia, uh, for Pokemon uh, like Mega Evolution Pokemon that only have one attack, um, they just can't attack, right? Uh, they won't be able to attack, period. And if we combine it with, uh, not this right here, with uh, Hypnotoxic Laser, uh, we're going to poison them. And then uh, once they are poisoned, we have Dragalge here with Poison Bearer, and they're stuck. Uh, we will have Keldeo here, uh, since it is a water type, and uh, we can use it with Floatstone to rush and retreat. However, if our opponent has Keldeo on their side of the field, they can rush in and retreat too. So this deck has plenty of flaws, a lot of things that don't really work in this deck. And this deck by no means is competitive, and uh, by no means can it really compete with some of these Tier 1 decks. And uh, this deck is primarily set up to be kind of a... Uh, just for fun, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so we're trying to, I, I don't know, I, I'm trying to pull off this idea here, all right, we got a couple things that we can make it work, and I thought, hey, why not have Golduck have its time to shine in the sun sometimes, you know, and uh, we got to show respect where it's due for Mr. Golduck here. So that's it for the Pokemon. Let's take a look at the item cards and whatnot. We're going to have Crutching Hammer, four of these. We're going to be kind of a uh, energy disrupting kind of deck. And uh, again, with Lysander's Trump card gone, we can't really get these back unless we use Dowsing Machine, which we will be playing. One Dive Ball, since uh, we run a water type Pokemon, works pretty well. Dowsing Machine here, uh, pretty flexible to be able to get the Crushing Hammers back into our hand to use it again. That includes Enhanced Hammer, we're going to have two of these. And then Evil Soda, since we have two Stage 1 lines, uh, works very well. We have Hypnotoxic Laser, previously already mentioned, four of these. Uh, Max Potion, uh, I, you know, this could get removed, technically. We may not even need Max Potion, but I'm not too sure if I should keep it in there or not. We have Trainer's Mail, and... Uh, Again, this is going to be a staple in most of my decks. I really like Trainer's Mail, and they re they have it reprinted in the next set as a secret rare, so I'm stoked for that. We have Ultra Ball. Um, let's see. Of course, Ultra Ball has got to be in every deck almost, um, besides like pure water decks or something like that. But VS Seeker, three of these. Colderus, and here it is, Getsis. So we have two Team Plasma supporters here. Uh, Getsis here. Uh, can work very well in scenarios where, in case like we, we lock our opponent up with the poison barrier and they have a switch in their hand or an escape rule, we can actually play Gets this and kind of uh, try to disrupt their hand that way. Who knows? That could be pretty useful. I'm not sure. Uh, Lysander and N. We have the Birch here, one of these, and Juniper. I'm not sure how many Junipers I have. Uh, only two Junipers again. Uh, I've been cutting the uh, amount of junipers, but by no means should you cut your juniper count either. I'm only down to two. Uh, if you feel like in most of your decks you want to have four, 
feel free to do that. Uh, we have Shadow Triad to be able to use VS Seeker to get Shadow Triad back into our hand and get the Hypnotoxic Laser. So we can actually Hypnotoxic Laser uh, a couple more times than just the uh, typical four. And uh, Dimension Valley, got to have four of these. Uh, we definitely need it for the Mew EX. Two Float Stones and four Muscle Bands. Now, for the energy count, we only have four energies. That's insane. Uh, well... Amnesia is a very cheap energy cost, and since we're going to be using Mew EX with Dimension Valley, we don't even need an energy drop whatsoever. Um, if anything, we may use Aquafall, and we're going to end up discarding all the energy on this Pokemon anyways. Or we can try to invest in Keldeo and put uh, three energies on Keldeo. Who knows? That could be a, uh, a plan there as well. So... Um, Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and see this deck in action on Pokemon TCG Online. Alright, and we're going to be playing against Jaggy99, and uh, my opponent will be flipping tails, and it looks like the coin toss was heads, so we'll be going first. We lead off with uh, the Mew EX, and I will likely place the Keldeo onto the bench, um, and uh, this is not too bad of a start, it's not too shabby. Um, so let's go ahead, we're going to do that, and uh, we could... Oh, actually, this is a pretty bad start. <laughs> Alright, so um, what we're going to do is uh, probably end up discarding two of our Muscle Bands. We'll get the Psyduck out here, and then we can use the Evil Soda to get the Gold Duck in the next turn. And then play the Muscle Band, and play the Dimension Valley. So we'll prevent our opponent from doing a Shout of Power in the next turn. Or not, my opponent plays a Switch, brings out the... Oh, wow, we could see Muscle Band with a Fighting Stadium that could hit us for 90 damage and 30 to the bench. That's equivalent to a Dark Rai EX for one energy. That's insane. You can do that in one turn. Uh, and there it is. That's 90 and uh, 30 to the side duck. Wow, uh, that is scary. That's like a, a, a dark ride right there, folks, uh, with three energies, you know, the dark patch and everything. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead. We'll just take it nice and slow, I suppose, and uh, get everything going here and set everything up on our side of the field. We even get an enhanced hammer. We can get rid of that. Got the float stone here. We can play it on to kill Dio. We can rush in and retreat. And we're playing our hand size down and nothing. We're going to get hit for 40. We'll do uh, prevent the hammerhead. So my opponent can still do a number of things here. My opponent has seven cards. We can still see something like a Karina for a Lucario EX plus a uh, switch, an energy drop, something like that. That could finish off the Mew EX. And there it is. There is the Lucario EX. Um... I mean, we could have seen that on for the uh, the Shout of Power Landers, too, with a Muscle Band. That could have worked as well. And there's the Karina. Did I say I called it? I totally called it. And uh, my opponent goes for a Halucha. We see an energy drop there, and also the switch. So poor Mew EX will get knocked out. And, uh, well, that's okay. I mean, uh, we got... Uh, at least we have Keldeo over here with the uh, Float Stone. At the very least, we can rush in and retreat. So all we need is an energy drop. Uh, we do get a Colorus. What a great top tech that was. We miss on the energy drop. I'm going to go ahead and play Crushing Hammer. We did get the Crushing Hammer to work, though, and that's really good. So uh, what we need to do next, uh, probably just go with the Hypnotoxic Laser. Hopefully, <laughs> cut across my fingers. Maybe my opponent will flip tails. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to end my turn. I could definitely play Dowsing Machine and discard two things for a Trainer's Mail, but uh, that's not going to be too necessary. What I really need right now is either a Mew EX or um, an Energy Drop. That would be really good. And uh, so my opponent right now um, can still switch. Uh, we can see something like an Escape Rope or Scramble Switch. And that's it. My opponent passes the turn. So this makes me wonder, uh, you know, for sure I don't want to play Juniper. I don't want to discard those lasers. Uh, I'm going to go with Corvus instead uh, because, you know, I didn't see my opponent play anything. My opponent just passed the turn. I didn't want to end my opponent down to four and potentially get my opponent something else. So I'm going to go with this route instead. I ended up playing the Corvus and uh, let's go with the Amnesia, preventing my opponent from doing a Missile Jab in the next turn if my opponent wakes up. My opponent even stays asleep. So in any case, my opponent would need a switch and we didn't see my opponent switch or do anything last turn. So unless my opponent top deck something... Um, yeah, uh, then my opponent could start attacking me, I guess. Uh, we could see an energy drop on the Landorus or something. Um, but in any case, uh, this time around, we can play the N and my opponent down to four and uh, see what we can do from there. Or we can play VS Seeker, go for another Colrus, play the Scrub onto our bench, and then, uh, you know, Colrus for seven. 
to have the Dimension Valley in our hand too. So if my opponent counters the stadium this turn, uh, we have the luxury of countering the stadium once again and uh, kind of having an upper hand on the stadium war. My opponent even gets a Shauna, so my opponent must have top decked that Shauna this turn. Otherwise, we could have seen it last turn as well, but... Uh, that's about it. My opponent doesn't do, does not do anything else. It makes me wonder. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll just play the end. Uh, and we get an end into a lot of VS Seekers. Uh, <laughs> didn't really need to see that. But uh, we'll just go for the Missile Jab lock right here. So Amnesia. My opponent won't be able to use a Missile Jab unless my opponent has something like, uh, you know, maybe an Energy Switch plus an Energy Drop. That would work too. Or we could see a Switch, perhaps even a Super Scoop Up. Um, that could work too, and uh, no, my opponent goes for a Sycamore, and hey, there's a scoop up, and it even gets heads. Uh, there goes the Lucario EX, my opponent's going to bring out the Landorus and probably start destroying our poor, oh wait a second, my opponent uh, brings up the uh, Landorus instead, and I don't know if that was a misclick or something, but uh, there goes the Landorus, and here comes the Landorus right there. Uh, hello, Landorus. Uh, goodbye, and hello again. Welcome to the bench. And uh, too bad you're not in the active spot. Uh, but uh, there's that muscle band again. We can probably see. And that's it. My opponent concedes the match. And uh, we'll take it. So, um, <laughs> I, I guess. Anyways, uh, we'll play another match here. Maybe I'll do two more, or maybe just one more match. Or we'll, we'll take a look and see. And uh, we're going to be playing against Hash888. Uh, call 1-888-464-1010. And, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, that's the first thing that came to my mind when I thought about three eights in a row. It's always those 1-800 or 1888 numbers. Anyways, we're going to be playing against a Don Fan deck. We see the full stone, we see Don Fan, we see, uh, Robo Subs and, uh, Muscle Bands, Lysanders, all these stuff there. We're going to start off with the Mew, and we will be able to draw into a number of cards. Uh, lucky for us. Hopefully we can draw into a Psyduck. And, uh, yeah, these are one of those, you know, this is the kind of deck that I just... I wonder, why am I playing a Gold Duck with Side Duck deck? I mean, what the heck? This is ridiculous. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead. We will probably be playing Skrulp on the bench. Uh, lucky for us, we get to go first once again. So we'll play the Skrulp and then we even play, might as well play the Energy. You never know when you, you miss out on the Dimension Valleys. So here it is. We get to Mulligan a number of times. Uh, I could actually play the uh, Getz's right here. And... Um, and take a look at my, my opponent's hand, too. So, Don Fan, Lysander. Ooh, thank goodness we got rid of those Robo subs right away. And uh, got two cards from that. I don't mind that at all. Let's go over the Hypnotoxic Laser, put my opponent to sleep, and we'll pass the turn. My opponent stays asleep. That's a huge bonus in case my opponent top techs something like a DCE. But my opponent will be able to play that Sycamore, or we could see my opponent play the Lysander that we saw from, you know, uh, peeking at his hand. So, we know for sure my opponent has uh, the. Ooh, my opponent top teched a Robo sub. Uh, my opponent opponent has three cards. That's a Lysander, a uh, Sycamore, and a Donphan. So we'll play the end for the next turn. My opponent can always play the Sycamore and the Donphan in the next turn. So we're going to play the end, disrupt the sand a little bit. Uh, we don't really want to give my opponent seven cards and a Donphan. So um, let's go ahead. We'll retreat into the Mew. And uh, yeah, we're definitely not going to play Colorus. So let's go ahead. We'll evolve right there. The Zekrom is locked. Uh, I'm going to go and pick up the Dimension Valley. We do have an end here as well. Uh, let's go with that Trainer's Mail and another Floatstone. I'm going to hang on to the Lysander instead. That way we can Lysander out the Fan P or either that or the Don Fan. When it, either or. And uh, we'll stop my opponent from playing Outrage in case my opponent has the DC in hand. My opponent's drawing another card, having seven in his hand. Um... I could see something like a switch, escape rope, scramble switch for crying out loud, who knows. Um, or even a super scoop up like the last game that we just saw. But uh, never mind, all we see is a strong energy muscle band Don fan coming from the Karina. Could see a switch right here. Or we could see another Robo sub. Um, you never know, you never know. So, uh, ooh, uh, enhanced hammer. Uh, I mean, I, I don't play any uh, special energies, but... Um, all right, so uh, we can either lie standard out the Don fan, or we can finish off the Zekrom. I'm gonna I'm gonna opt to finish off the Zekrom, which is slow down the Don fan a little bit more. Let's go for the versatile and let's go for the Amnesia. No need to play the Dimension Valley yet. We're gonna wait and see if my opponent plays, and that's it. My opponent concedes the match. We had the game locked in control right here. Uh, we could have lie standard out the Don fan if my opponent was able to get an energy drop and take out the uh, Robo sub. So right there, guys, uh, this game was ours for the taking. My opponent flipped five tails. Wow, five to one right there. Only one head flip, and uh, hey, you know. 
Uh, win is win. We'll take it. Uh, and uh, you know what? Uh, I'll play one last match for you guys, and uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> so hopefully the person uh, we don't play another fighting deck. I already played against two fighting decks. I don't really want to play a third fighting deck either, unless you guys. I mean, hey, uh, fighting decks. If that's if that's your thing, you like fighting decks. Well, fine. Uh, you've enjoyed the video so far, then. And we're gonna be playing against another fighting deck. Oh my goodness, Casimir is a straight up fighting deck, and. Uh, I wonder what we're going to be up against. Oh, no, it's a meta champ and a mud champ. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we see the evil soda. We see a number of things here. Lucky for us, we're going first again. Plus, we uh, my opponent mulls again, and my opponent concedes the match. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, I don't want to play against another fighting deck anyway. Um, hopefully, all right, all right. So this one doesn't really count. I'm going to play one last match for you guys, and uh, hopefully it is not another fighting deck. Uh, I've been playing way too many of these fighting decks. And uh, even before recording, I've been playtesting, and all I've been playing against was fighting decks for some reason. Uh, you figure you see more variety out there, but um, uh, we're going to be playing against a fighting and lightning deck, and it's going to be Shiba Taken, Shiba Taken, Shiba, I, I, I don't know, but uh, the, my opponent has a Pikachu hat, that's pretty cool. We're going to lead with the Mew EX here, we do have the Psyduck and the Skrull ready to go, placing them onto the bench, uh, otherwise we don't have much of anything else. Um, yeah, we really need to evolve in the next turn. That'll be really good. Uh, we do play. We are playing against a meta tight, so uh, that's a little peculiar. This could be the same thing as last uh, deck that we we're playing against. And there's a Don fan or a Fampy. I mean, eventually we'll evolve into a Don fan. My opponent plays a energy right there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hmm, what should I hang on to? I'm gonna go with the enhance hammer just to let my opponent know. Hey, buddy, I got an enhance hammer. If you want to play something, I got it for you. Uh, you know. So let's go with the Dazzle Dance, hopefully putting him into confusion, but it wouldn't really matter if my opponent evolves into the Metachamp this turn. The special condition would be gone. So, and there it is, my opponent evolves both of them. Wow, we are in top deck mode here, and we do get an Ultra Ball. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to do it. Um, let's just get rid of, yeah, the stadiums. Um, I, I think my opponent plays the um, uh, the special energy, so I'm going to hang on to my, uh, my Enhance Hammer. And let's go ahead and oh wait, ooh, a misclick. <laughs> that should have been, should should have been. Uh, I should have did. Um, um, oh man. Okay. Well. Well. I mean. Ah. Whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, well. Hey, my opponent passes the turn anyways. And uh, this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and we'll do amnesia. And uh, guess what? I'm gonna get rid of the calm mind. That way, my opponent can't heal twice. And uh, my opponent would need two energies to do Yoga Kick anyway, unless my opponent was able to do something like an energy switch. Uh, see the energy drop plus energy switch. My opponent is powering up the Don fan over there, uh, but we're looking pretty good right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Amnesia. Hit for 40 and uh, go for the Yoga Kick. Ah, it doesn't really matter. My opponent passes out anyways. We do get the end right here. My opponent at 5 and we are at 4. We see a Fampy and uh, hmm. All right, well, ooh, my opponent is really powering up this Don fan right here. We get hit for 60, and uh, uh, very likely we, we could pass out in the next turn. So let's go with that Psyduck. Uh, we can play that right now. Uh, we do have the Dimension Valley, but I'm going to hang on to my hand. And uh, let's go with the Amnesia hitting right there. Uh, can remove the tackle. That way my opponent can't tackle us. My opponent can still evolve into the Don fan, and then we can get hit with uh, perhaps strong energy or uh, muscle band energy drop. That would actually knock us out for 60. Um, but I'm really waiting for that uh, strong energy. My opponent must be hanging on to it because my opponent knows that I have an enhance hammer or something. And no, wait, never mind. There's a strong energy. We get hit for 60. And, uh, well, that's okay. So I'm going to bring out the uh, the gold duck here. We can evolve the gold duck on the bench. And wow, lucky top deck. We were able to get um, the energy drop right there. And might as well play the Dimension Valley. Let's go with the N. And more uh, float stones. That's not going to be really necessary. Let's go with this. Hey, look, it's a juniper. I'll take that. And in the next turn, we could probably just go with the juniper. But uh, we'll get a hit for. We'll hit him for 40 uh, with the weakness there. It's kind of nice. And uh, my opponent won't be able to use a spinning turn. My opponent can still play an energy drop and hit us for a wreck. And uh, um, yeah. Otherwise, uh, all we need to hope for is another energy drop onto the gold duck on the bench and continue hitting for the. Uh, uh, amnesia. Um, so my opponent plays a Karina going for the Lucario EX, and yeah, I gotta wait and see. So right here, the math um, 
it's going to be a little bit tricky. How can we get the math to work right? Ideally, what we want to happen is the poison damage coming into our turn, and so we can do an amnesia on a fresh Pokemon. That's kind of the plan, but uh, um, it is what it is. Let's go ahead. We'll play this right here, and might as well play these Fold Stones. And uh, both Fold Stones are gone, so... Um, it's a little bit of a shame. I am going overly aggressive on the tools. My opponent can definitely play um, the, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, start on the megaphone and get rid of all these right away. But uh, I'll take my chances. Anyways, but the Don Fan is out into play. And, ooh, there is the Starling megaphone. And uh, huh, we can still get the Floatstone back with the, um, uh, the, uh, the dowsing machine. Anyways, it looks like my opponent's going to opt to evolve into the Mega Lucario, but this works right into our hand. If my opponent evolves into the Mega Lucario, I can just go ahead and hit Amnesia. My opponent won't be able to use uh, the 140 uh, damage right there. My opponent even gets a Scramble Switch. That's going to be pretty interesting. And that's it. My opponent Mega Evolves. Uh, we'll just go... Hmm. Well, we can actually... We can laser the Don Fan, I guess. Uh, my opponent's going to switch anyways. Um... Yeah, whatever. My opponent won't be able to, uh, you know, uh, do spinning turn at the very least. So let's go ahead. We're going to hang on to the Hypnotoxic Laser, at least on to the um, Lucario EX. My opponent right now won't be able to. Oh, my opponent plays an N. And, uh, okay. So, well, hey, we got two lasers and a useless max potion. Uh, that's not going to be really handy. My opponent won't be able to use spinning turn, but uh, this rising fist ain't going nowhere here, guys. Um, even with that energy drop over there, we are not afraid. And that reminds me of the song from Eminem. Uh, if you... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'm going to hang on to these lasers. We're just going to go and hit for weakness and take this guy out. Um, here is the Lucario. And we will slow, slowly but surely just take care of business and uh, hit him where it hurts. Uh, no more rising fists for you. Um, I'm sorry, Mega Lucario, sir. No more attacking, uh, since you only got one attack anyways, and never mind, that's it, that ends this game, and uh, I already played, what is it, three, four matches for you guys, well, one didn't really count since that person bailed out early, but uh, it is what it is, we'll take the victory here, and uh, Golduck shines as the MVP, um, which he rightly should, and... Uh, Amnesia, hey, what do you know, right? Amnesia, we didn't run into any toads. Uh, I really wanted to run into toads uh, because I wanted to, uh, you know, attack the Quaking Punch. And if my opponent was ever able to um, poison us or whatever, we had free retreat on uh, the uh, Gold Duck plus Keldeo for the flexibility of free retreat for new EX. And uh, if anything, we could have done new EX with an energy drop and Dementia Valley to do Quaking Punch on the Seismitoad. So, you know, I, I really constructed this deck uh, in hopes to run into Toad decks, but all we ran into was fighting decks. <laughs> and so that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And, uh, and yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any other deck ideas, shoot them my way. I'll see you too if I can build them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for watching. And uh, you guys all take care. Have a wonderful day. See you later. Goodbye.